Hello everybody, this is Jasmina and in this video I'm going to talk about the instructions for the use of the relief god. It is a, another one of the date uh, selection formations and it is actually an extremely useful one. It is good for problem solving and problem solving of any sort. It is also um, good to find help from another person or another group of people to help you with a problem. And it allows you to, if you use this, you tend to think more clearly and see the problem perhaps in a different light that helps you find a solution. So this is how this one works. It's actually a very, very useful uh, type of uh, date selection. This formation is a very useful replacement for the very rare Heavenly Wish, Will of Heaven, and Heavenly Pardon formations because there are several every month, whereas these are one maybe every other month. So there, it's about um, probably four to eight times more frequent than, um, than these uh, hard to find formations. Now, the dates come along frequently enough that you can skip a clash day uh, now, it's basically it, you, the formation is such that every day of the month is the same animal sign. So it's basically you're going to be skipping a clash month uh, because not that you clash with the month necessarily, but you clash with that day that's consistent throughout the month. And, and it's not ideal, but hopefully you can use it to manifest on a clash day if you absolutely need to, if it's really dire, but you won't be able to activate it. Now, the clashes in your chart, if there's one with the month that we're living in when you want to use this uh, formation, it does reduce its effectiveness, but if the need is urgent, you can use non-clash days of the month, you know, if they exist. Again, this will be one animal sign for each month. So, um, you know, let's hope it doesn't happen when you really need it. But again, you can manifest and then on a non-clash day, you can start activating. So this, again, this formation helps you find solution to a problem that you're having. And it can be any type of problem. So it's really a very useful um, formation. It requires manifestation followed by activation. Again, if, you if you're if you urgent and you have to use a month where the day clashes with you, do the manifestation on the clash day and then wait until a non-clash day comes to start doing the activation. The best type of activation is research, talking to others who might have experienced the same type of problems, maybe calling agencies that deal with the kind of problem you're having. Um, this could be, for example, it even could be if it's a legal problem, this could be contacting a lawyer and you would do the research regarding which is the best lawyer for your particular problem. So all that kind of stuff can start after you've manifest. Um, but again, don't start it if that day is a clash day. Elemental activation where it is appropriate can enhance your ability to find a solution, usually earlier. It doesn't necessarily make it a lot better, but it makes it you find a solution earlier. But there are times when elemental activation in the best sector to do this is simply not appropriate because the stars there, let's say, get weakened um, when you try to apply a, a, um, an elemental activation, which will either be fire or water. So uh, sometime it works, sometime it doesn't. Now this formation does not have a set location, nor does it, do you need to back to any given direction. So it's kind of where, where you're comfortable is an okay location to do it, but um, the best 
time on a Relief God day to use is the Heavenly Assistant Hour. That Assistant Hour has a subsector associated with it. And if it's available to you, it's a little more powerful if you use that location. Sometime the subsector where, where you have the Heavenly Assistant is clear of afflictions and untimely stars. And when this is true, it is the best sector to do both the manifestation and the activation. Now, I can tell people, and I tell people in my monthly videos, uh, if that subsector is clear of afflictions and untimely stars, but I can only tell you that, that the things that apply to everybody. So that's the annual afflictions and the, the annual and monthly stars. So I can't really tell you what you have in your house. You need to know your flying star chart and your purple white chart so you can know whether or not that sector is a good one to activate. Uh, you don't want to activate it if it has really untimely stars, especially like a star five. But a star seven, a star three, those are also quite untimely in period nine. So you have to be a little careful with that. Now, manifestation can always occur in the heavenly assistant hour subsector. Uh, but if it does have problems, then you want to activate in your residence's best sector. Now, I have a video that can help you find it, and I think it's entitled Finding Your House's Best Sector, and I'll say house or residence, I don't remember which, but it'll have Finding Best Sector in the title. Now, the data, the dates, the rules for the dates, this comes from Joey Yap, and it is confirmed with the dates from the Chinese Metasoft site. So this is a standard um, type of manifestation, or I'm sorry, standard type of formation that is available. So this is the rules. You find the month, and it's uh, in the normal order, tiger, rabbit, so forth ending in ox, starting with the Chinese Solar New Year, which is always the tiger month. And this is the day branch. So any monkey day on the tiger or the rabbit month, any monkey day has the relief god and so forth. So for a, either a dragon or a snake month, any dog day has a, um, has a relief god formation. Now, you will note that the first month and the day, they clash with one another, but that's okay. It's um, this actually, it actually, if you use a clash year properly, you actually learn something that makes your life better. It will be a challenging year, but you actually get better by succeeding. So that is true. This is, I think, the idea behind the relief God. If you find a solution to your problem when it is in a clash like this, at least for half of them, half of the months, you actually are able to really improve your life generally because you become better at solving problems. So in my monthly videos, of course, I list the, list the clash animals, the best times and locations. So that's the heavenly assistant hour. I do have a video that can tell you how to find that too, of course. Um, I also list the quality of the location. What, what, what stars are there? Um, does it have an annual affliction? And if it does, which one it has? and all that kind of stuff. And I also list the quality of the day. So I look at all the, uh, the four major things. Um, and, uh, and I also make sure it's not a Yangon day. I would tell you that and say, you know, don't use this day and so forth. I do all that. Now, I also have videos that tell you how to do all of this stuff. So if you want to see these videos, you have to join as a member. But um, basically, all my videos, you can do this by yourself if you want to. My service just saves you time. And if you've got the time to do it, by all means, go ahead. You know, um, 
the more people who know how, how to do this, the better, because then the word can spread faster. So that's it. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and uh, I hope you can use these dates because they're very good dates and almost everybody has problems in their lives. So these dates are fantastic. Again, thank you guys for watching.